holding this tiny creature and hearing it call for its mom, you just feel like you'd do anything for him. The mom was hit by a car. She didn't make it. They're in her abdomen, cushioned and safe. So a lot of times they survive. They're still attached to the nipples and drinking that milk. Once the milk starts to go bad, they can start to get really sick. He weighed about 24 to 25 grams, a little bit less than an ounce. He was just little featherweight. I've been a wildlife rehabilitator for about three years now, and I've saved over 40 opossums. The steps for stabilizing them is primarily to get their body heat in check. It goes heat, then hydration, and then starting to feed. Because they're so small, they do have to be tube fed, and that's a really delicate maneuver. You could potentially puncture an esophagus. I was keeping them with me 24-7, feeding them around the clock. About nine to 10 weeks old, they started getting really active. Their fur was coming in and they're big enough that they would be out of the pouch and hanging on their mother's back. As soon as they can see and smell formula, they start lapping from a dish on their own. Because they're mostly nocturnal, in the middle of the night, I could hear them crawling around their cage. There was one male in the litter that was much smaller than his siblings. He really enjoyed riding on his much bigger sisters. He would crawl up on them and hold on to their fur, and he would probably assume that that was his mother. That was pretty cute. During pre-release, we spend a lot less time interacting with them, and they have to forage a little more for their food in a much larger outdoor enclosure. Rehabilitating animals isn't just about feeding them and getting them big enough and strong enough physically, it's also about preparing them mentally for the wild. They were showing all of the right criteria to be wild. The release is always my favorite. Watching them go off into the wild, even though it's a little bittersweet, is the best feeling. I think they're eating something. I think I felt maybe a little misunderstood my whole life. The misunderstood animals and the underdogs really speak to me. There's just something about helping those that can't help themselves. It is ultimately the best feeling to know that you gave them that chance they would have never had.